The multi-ROM is a feature which enables a multiple ROMs to be a booted and boot. So this can be called after the bootloader startup where you can boot into a different ROMs. It helps you to install a custom ROMs on your phone without removing the stock ROM. You may already have seen on computers like dual boot. On Linux, when you turn on the computer, there you will see a grub bootloader from where you can boot into the different operating systems. While the multi-ROM works in the same way, you can dual boot or triple boot your Poco of Win by installing any custom ROMs to your internal storage hassle-free. What is an advantage of this multi-ROM when compared to a flashing ROM in a normal way? Well, traditionally in Android device, if you want to try out a custom ROMs, you have to uh, simply uh, remove the existing stock ROM to proceed installing any custom ROM. This is a sort of bummer, so you will lose your OEM stock ROM, and so this is where the uh, multi-ROM comes to the picture. No replacement of stock ROM with custom ROM, instead you can install uh, multiple ROMs on same device and boot into any ROM using a multi-ROM. This gives you a more power, you can try out any beta releases very easily without worrying about your stock ROM. So this is KSK and in this video, I will show you how to set up and install a multi-ROM on Pocophone F1. I will be a triple booting the phone with MIUI 10, Lineage OS and Pixel Experience. So let's get started. Before proceeding and installing a multi-ROM to your device, make sure you know what you're doing. Follow the video till to the end carefully. If in case you have made a mistake and got stuck on boot loop, you can simply flash a stock ROM to record it back to normal. You can watch the video from here by clicking on this card. And please make a backup of your phone for the sake of safety. The prerequisites of this video is your Poco Phone F1 has to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP custom recovery installed. You can find the video links for that down below in the description. Let's start. Currently, I'm using a MIUI 10 based on Android Pie on my Poco F1. I recommend you to upgrade to a MIUI 10 Android Pie on your device. Your firmware needs to be a, at least 8.11.15 or higher. The reason why I told you is that the most of the custom ROMs like Lineage OS, the Pixel Experience are completely a dependent of Android Pie. So that's why you need a MIUI 10 Android Pie to be installed as a base firmware. Now go ahead and download the files from the links in the description and copy those multi-ROM zip files to your internal storage. Along with, you can copy the ROM which you want to install. So in this case, I will copy the Lineage OS, the G apps, and the Pixel Experience. Then turn off your phone and boot your device into the TWRP recovery mode. Now once you are inside a TWRP recovery, now choose the option called Install Zip and look for the multi-ROM zip file and flash it. Then again, I choose a click on the install zip, change the mode to install image, then select the recovery image file and flash it as a recover image. When it's done, I go to home and select a reboot option and boot back to the recovery again. Now you will see the TWRP with some extensions and capable of flashing a multi-ROMs. The primary ROM is a MIUI 10 which is called internal. Now you need to reboot into the system to see it's working or not. So once you reboot the phone, you will gonna first see the multi-ROM boot screen. So right now it says internal, so which is where the MIUI 10 is located. Select it and double tap on it and this will boot into the MIUI 10. Now we have successfully done a configuring the device with a multi-ROM. So now our device is capable of installing a multiple ROMs on the same internal storage. Now to add a custom ROMs, you need to reboot the phone back to the recovery again. Now, as I told you in the beginning of this video, we will be triple booting it with Lineage OS and Pixel Experience. So select the a three tile option on the top right corner and choose add ROM and let it as a default selected Android and choose an internal storage. Now click on the zip option and look for the Lineage OS zip file and install it. Now once it's done, go to the home screen and click on the uh, tile button again and select a list ROMs option. Now here you will see a Lineage OS is actually added to the boot list. Select it and choose install zip and flash the G app zip file.
Now we have successfully installed the Lineage OS. Then again, I repeat the same thing, go to the main screen, select it and add a ROM. So this time we will install a pixel experience. So simply select the zip file and flash it. You can install as many ROMs as you want hassle free. The Pixel experience I don't need a Google applications to be installed because it is already bundled the Google applications inside the package. Now once it's done, now you can see a list of ROMs added to the boot list. Now I will quickly change the few settings. I will increase the boot time limit to 18 seconds and you can select a default ROM to be booted into when you turn on your phone. So right now it is selected as internal, so which is a MIUI 10. Now go ahead and once everything is set, the reboot the system. Here you will see it will take you to the multi-ROM bootloader. You can select here any ROM to boot into very easily. So that's an advantage of multi-ROM on your Pocophone F1, booting into a multiple ROMs at the same time very easily. So that's pretty much about it. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button down there. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK so far. Peace.